guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. I've got the Pro Contour Book Volume 1, I've got the Elvira Mistress of the Dark Eyeshadow and Blush Palette, the Mattifying Powder, and four of their lip slicks. I've heard so many good things about the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. Um, I love the packaging, the idea, and also I love that they were affordable. Uh, firstly, to tell you a little bit about the brand. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs specializes in all aspects of horror, beauty, special effects, makeup. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs is for everyone from beautiful blushing brides to beautiful bloody brides of Frankenstein. Be the change you want to see. We accept and love everybody no matter your beauty background, sexuality or race. Our cosmetics are, are geared for the alternative ladies and gentlemen, stage performers, makeup artists, special effects makeup artists and everybody in between. Whether you've been doing makeup for a week or 30 years, if you're not scared to live outside the box, we are for you. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs will always and forever stand up for the beginner, lover and learner of all aspects of makeup. We strongly believe that there are no rules to makeup and everybody has their own unique styles. I totally agree about that, right? Formulate with loving care in the USA. All cosmetics are 100% vegan, talc-free, paraben-free, proudly vegan and currently free, approved by Legal Harmony and Pera. Um, you can order it online and they do international shipping as well and their team sound lovely too. So firstly the packaging, right guys? I mean, <laughs> I love that. If you'd like to see a demo on this look of all these products on my face and my thoughts about this brand, keep on watching. I've started by prepping the eyelid with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, as I always do. And now we'll go with the palette with... Um, Elvira Mistress of the Dark Palette. I really love the pop-up and has like a mirror here and has these beautiful beautiful shades and I'm going with this shade over here the big one and I'm taking a brush uh, the shade called Super Unleaded. I'm just gonna put it all over basically and in the other eye Now I'm taking a flatter brush and I'm going with this, the shade here, the reddish one, and I'm just going to put it a little bit on the lid. I'm going to take the black shade here and I'm going to use it as a liner, but as a thick liner. So I'm taking a smaller, like a liner brush. On the brow bone, I'm going to take the bone color, which is amazing. Right. For the lower lash, I'm going to take, again, the super unleaded color here. With a little bit of the black, again, that I used. And this is the final eye look, guys. I put some eyeliner, I'm going to list below mascara and some false lashes. So it came like that. So I'm wearing one of the uh, lipsticks in... Um, what is that? Crypt Cream. The eyeshadow palette called Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And it looks like that. Beautiful. It's a limited edition. It's 35 USD dollars. And it comes with a small little mirror and like back pop-ups up, pop there. It's very like, how can I say, vampirish. And it comes with all these shades. Mostly they're matte besides this one. Another thing that I really like is that everything included on the back, right? It tells you the names, it tells you uh, where it's made, made in USA. And I'm going to swatch the shades for you. I'm going to start with Boyne, the white one. Look at that, right? So we have Boyne, the white one that I used um, under the brow and the inner corners. We have Macabre, the red one that I used all over the lid. Uh, the black one, which is Unpleasant Dreams, that I used as my liner, and also on the lower lash. 
the Blas, the Super Unleaded, we have the Battitude and Aunt Morgana. And they all are matte for me, besides Aunt Morgana that feels a little bit more satiny. It's beautiful and you can create like um you can create soft looks but really intense looks as well as I did today. They all kick back a little bit of powder, especially that um turquoise one, the Battitude, uh, but nothing major. They're very pigmented. You see that black? Seriously, guys. It's beautiful, right? I love the packaging. I love the names. I love that it's 100% vegan, created free, um, made in US. And uh, I really love that it includes the name. It's sleek, it's small, it's beautiful, has a little tiny mirror, and you can create a lot of looks too. It's very, very pretty. Now let's go to the Pro Contour Book Volume 1 that looks like that. The packaging, again, it's beautiful, right? It comes with a big mirror and I love the mirror and comes with all these shades and you can remove those and I really really love that. I'm gonna use today probably um, that shade over there as my contour. And I'm gonna go a little bit with one of the grey ones like this one. Just a tiny bit. Just on the back. And blend. I'm gonna go with this one and I'm gonna use it as, as a little bit of a, of a bronzer. I'm getting another brush, right? Just a little bit. I'm gonna go with this powder just to sharpen up a little bit back to the Elvira palette and I'm gonna use this one because it really looks beautiful what can I say this is the Pro Contour book volume 1 it has a volume 2 and the shades are numbered on the back you get 12 Shades, it comes with a beautiful mirror and the shades look like that and um, I would say if you're like fair to medium you can use that it's 74 USD dollars you get 12 shades you can um, remove them and you can carry them with you on a palette and um, I really really love it the only thing is if you're someone that doesn't do professionally makeup or you want it for yourself and you don't wear makeup every day I'm not really quite sure how um, how necessary that will be for you. Um, probably you could do with something smaller, I would say. For me, because I'm a makeup lover, I love it, and I think if you're after if you're after a contour palette, this is a fabulous one. It's beautiful and fantastic. If you're after something like you'll use it here and there or just a little bit, maybe look for something smaller. For someone who needs it for everyday use, I'm not quite sure um, how useful it will be, if you know what I mean, to get all these shades. But all in all, I think it's a great idea. Love the packaging, love the performance, love everything. And just to show you guys, shade number one, two, three, four. The blushes, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's go to the powder. I have the Mystifying Mattifying High Definition Micro Finish Pressed Powder that looks like that and I used today on my face and um, it has a beautiful mirror here, <laughs> isn't that gorgeous? And it uh, slides like this, right? And looks like that. I love the packaging by the way. And again, it says the ingredients in the back, made in USA. It's a high definition powder, it has a little mirror here and it retails for 20 USD dollars. It's very, very silky, very, very satiny. Although it looks white, it didn't change the color of my foundation. I'm not quite sure how that will perform in, um, in deeper skin tones, 
But for me, I love it. it. It does what it says. That's why I love it. I love that it mattifies and gives you that beautiful airbrushed look. If you're oily, make sure you try this one. It's amazing. I have dry skin and I love it. It doesn't give you with um like crusty matte look. It's matte, but it's beautiful. You know, it leaves your skin to breathe and it's undetectable. It's just so, so finely milled. Very, very silky. Um, I really love this uh, product and I highly, highly recommend it. And I mean, the packaging is like, yeah, it's life. Now let's go to the lip slicks. I have four colors and they look like that. What are the lip slicks? Highly pigmented, creamy colors. Ultra opaque liquid lipsticks. Pro tip, a little goes a long way. Texture is a thick, lightweight cream. Our liquid lipsticks are not touch proof, kiss proof. They basically are like a liquid lipstick, but not a matte. It's a liquid lipstick that it's something between a lip gloss, I would say, and a lipstick. So it, it, it will transfer. That it won't stay matte as a traditional liquid lipstick. The packaging looks like that. The box. And the, they look like that. A doe foot applicator that looks like that. Kind of like I can... I can smell like minty, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I love the packaging, it's very, very pretty. Now, uh, they retail for 12 USD dollars and I'm wearing one, of course, today. I'm wearing the Crypt Cream, but I'm gonna swatch them for you. Let's start with the first one, which is Coven Cream. It's kind of like that gray bone color and looks like that. This is Coven Cream. The next one is Renegade. This is Renegade. This is more like um, taupey, again gray, but has a little bit more brown than um, Cream Coven. Next one is Crypt Dream, of course, that I was wearing. Crypt Dream. And the last one is Pout Off. Pout Off. Right? Very, very intense, bright pink. Coven Cream. Renegade. Crypt Cream. And Pout Off. They're very, very creamy. You get instant color payoff, as you see. They're not patchy, they're beautiful, um, but you do need to um, look after them. And what I mean by that, you can't just wear something like that intense during the day and think that you're gonna be okay. You need to just make sure that it's not on your teeth and also you need to reapply. They don't stay for a long time. They don't claim to, to stay for a long time, but bear that in mind. And also they're not matte and they're not like, um shiny there's something in between i would say a traditional lipstick and um a gloss for me they're kind of like thick they're not like very very thin consistency so bear that in mind if it's something that you don't like for me to wear something like as intense as that, as that i would prefer uh, say to be like more transfer proof so i won't have to like um look after it all during the day or I would recommend maybe go ahead with a, like a, a lip liner before so they stay a little bit longer. They do come in 11 colors and they retail for 12 USD dollars so the price is right. If you like a traditional lipstick and a gloss and something in between then you will love this. If you like a liquid lipstick that will stay matte probably you won't like this. All in all guys I really really love this brand. I think it's fantastic. I love that it's cruelty free. I love that it's vegan. Um, I also like that it's made in USA, the prices are right, the products, every product that I've tried, they perform really well. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, thumbs up, love your stuff, 
love your products and I love the packaging as well. Thank you so much for watching. That's where my thoughts. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Have you tried them and which you like them and which not? And I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Until next time. Mwah. Bye.